around the little town of Dalbiti. Turn off in here and head out to the sticks. tomorrow out of Thurso so I've got a fair way to go up as yet so I get this one off get up to Edinburgh then uh, I reckon, reckon I'll stay around Perth rather than trying it too far has abated from what it was in the Lake District. the A710 believe it or not, I don't know if you notice the sign. across there on a truck years ago once <laughs> I did it once and just like god that was small and awkward I'm not doing that again
just uh, when that'll be. Oh, God knows the way the world's going. I mean, they're uh, neither confirming or denying that lock this current lockdown, using inverted commas because not many people are paying much attention to it by the look of the roads. Uh, it's still, you know, uh, maybe till Easter, which is what, the end of April? God. I hope not, but well, there we go. It's, if it is, it is, you know, there's not much I can do about it. I'd love the pub to be open. And to be able to go diving. Here we are, Thursday morning. It's not, uh, not exactly ideal, is it? <laughs> Just going up the A9. I suppose I'm about 50 miles south of Inverness at the moment. Uh, it's just about 7 o'clock in the morning, so hopefully when daylight arrives it'll be a bit better for navigation. But it's not too bad, the road. The van's got winter tyres, so get a good grip on the road but the gritters are out and snow ploughs I don't know how, how much it's actually showing through on the on the video but it's snowing quite well out there <laughs> so uh, get to Inverness get some fuel uh, and carry on north hopefully it will hopefully it leaves off <laughs> I don't want a whole day of this if possible, but there you go, can't have it all sometimes, can you? Oh, we'll just have to see what, what the day brings. Should make for some nice photographs, if nothing else. <laughs> well, I'm sure as you can see, it's not really got any better. This is the A9. Uh, I've just come over the summit of some hill. I can't remember what it was called, and it was a bit worse up there. So we're just doing about 40 miles an hour roughly at the moment. <sighs> Not far from Inverness now. I do have a tinkle. Uh, there's a shell gouge, so I'm going to stop and get some diesel. Get myself a coffee, I think. Uh, press north and hopefully it ease off a bit. <laughs> I'm sure I said that earlier, and it hasn't, and it, if anything, it's got worse, <laughs> so I hope I'm not, uh, uh, hope I'm not jinxing myself. Uh, as long as the roads stay open, there's been several, uh, snow ploughs about. So, yeah, there we go, I'll see what I can find. 
wait for the light to be a bit better. Uh, here we are at Inverness. Just slipped off, got my diesel. Got a coffee, which isn't ideal, but it'll have to do from a garage. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm not really, uh, I don't know if I'm, I don't think, I can't remember, I don't think I've ever been up this, this part of the road, uh, certainly not commercially, as a child we went to John O'Groats on a family holiday when we were up here, um, but commercially, been to Inverness and across the top coast there. Excuse me, but that's it. I've never been further north, so uh, I'm looking forward to this. A little tick off the list as such. Now I've come down the hills. It's a lot. Uh, the weather's a lot better. feeling there's a truck stop to the right there. I remember staying at a truck stop here. I remember many moons ago working for MDF and I'd never work weekends because I just didn't want to. <laughs> well you know Monday to Friday is normally enough for me. Anyway um, I said to him, that's when my mate Julian was in the office there, I said, uh, you know, next week I can do Monday to Monday to Friday, and I can do the Saturday if you want. And he said, all oh, right, I'll probably give you an Inverness for Friday. And I thought he was joking, and he wasn't. <laughs> that was great. Two drops in Inverness. So still another 120 odd miles to go. Look, well, it's actually. Dune Ray where I'm going, where the nuclear power station is, so I'm not actually going to Thurso, so I've got to go to Thurso and then a bit further. Oh, but it's just, just beautiful up here. Absolutely love it. Plenty of wildlife in them waters as well. Remind me of Norway. Well, it's now half eight, you wouldn't sort of believe it looking at the sky, but it is. <laughs> some of the scenery on on camera Kestrel hovering up there Actually the snow is nowhere near as bad here as what it is sort of south of Inverness to John O'Groats. Like I 
see why people like to live up here. Don't think I'll be moving in a hurry. Too much to do. <laughs> I don't know if I could put up with a constant rain. Mind you, <coughs> if the weather was a lot nicer up here, more people would live here and it wouldn't be as nice, I guess. now you see that bridge there that we're going to go across yeah, there's no sign of snow now which is uh, nice but uh, it's a bit more than Mindy <laughs> the child of me sees this sign that we're now about to go past and reads that as Bona Bridge up to the left. I'm sorry, I, I am very childish. Breezy. Well, they're not as bad as what it was in Holland on Tuesday. Climbing up higher now and getting back in the snow, the snoo line, as they say in Norfolk. Pass up by the snoo line, hint I don't know why I put a Norfolk accent on if I live in Suffolk and I'm from Dorset. <laughs> so this is where I sort of leave the coast and go through the uh, centre of the top bit get up to uh, Thurso to turn left. So I dare say the weather will take a turn for the worse. It's definitely not shorts and t-shirt weather anyway. So 
we're just going across towards there, so power road should be just empty. It's pretty exposed out here, pretty weird. Push bike or on a motorbike. 